Hello friends. During this course, we will learn about linked list. Before moving on to linked list, let us see the limitation of arrays. An array has a limited number of elements. Routines inserting a new value have to check that there is room. Each time conditions are need to be checked for overflow. This problem can be partially solved by reallocating array as needed but adding one element at a time could be costly. One approach could be to double the current size of the array but even that would not be efficient. So a better approach is to use a linked list. Now what is a linked list? A linked list is a data structure consisting of a group of nodes which together represent a sequence. It is a series of connected nodes. This is a pictorial representation of a linked list. Each node contains at least a piece of data pointer to the next node in the list. There is a pointer to the first node called head and the last node points to null. The above diagram shows the logical representation of a node of a singly linked list. Now the types of linked list. Types of linked lists are singly linked list, doubly linked list and circular linked list. Now let us talk about the garbage collector. The algorithm for managing memory is often called garbage collector. A pool or list of free nodes called availability list is maintained in conjunction with linked allocation. Whenever a node is to be inserted in a list, a free node is taken from the availability list and linked to the former list and vice versa for deletion. That is, a node is removed from the list and inserted into the free node list. Generally the availability list is a kind of stack. Now we will see the algorithms on linked list. The first one traverse with a one parameter start this algorithm traverses the list applying an operation process to each element of list. Start is the address of the first node of the linked list. Step 1. Initialize the pointer PTR. Step 2. Repeat step 3 and step 4 while PTR not equal to null. Step 3. Apply process to info of PTR. Step 4. PTR must now point to the next node. Step 5. Exit. Now let us see a C++ code of insert algorithm of singly linked list which inserts a node according to the sorting order. For defining a node, we use a typedef, typedef struct ll integer data struct ll star next and node semicolon now the function insert it has written type node star and two parameters integer x and node star first we create a temporary variable node star latest equal to new node latest of data equal to x if first equal to null then assign latest of next equal to null and return latest. If latest of data is less or equal to first of data then assign latest of next equal to first and return latest. Create a new variable node star temp equal to first while temp of next not equal to null and temp of next of data less or equal to latest of data 
then temp equal to temp of next latest of next equal to temp of next temp of next equal to latest and return first now let us see a code for deleting a node node star del it has two parameters node star first and integer x if first equal to null then write c out slash n empty list and return first then create a new variable node star temp equal to first and star pred write a loop while temp temp of write a loop while temp of data not equal to x and temp of next not equal to null assign pred equal to temp temp equal to temp of next end the loop if temp of data not equal to x then write c out node not found and return first check if first of data is equal to x then first equal to first of next and return first else assign pred of next equal to temp of next and return in the next tutorial we will discuss about the circular and doubly linked lists thank you